Hey guys, it's Saru, and I had a fun time today as Lilith's Keep Hard Mode released for Terra Console today. My group and I had the server first clear in Dracoloth, and it was certainly an experience. So it's a bit different than the original Lilith's Keep, and I wasn't sure whether or not to make a guide for it. However, it is rather different than the original, so I thought I would. Sort of. Kinda. Yes. Anyway, so let's just get started. Pyre Belt. We already know this f***ing horse. Quite frankly, all the mechanics are essentially the same thing, except for a couple of things. So the first thing to note is that when he says the flame will turn you into ash, the targeted player should run towards the edge of the room. Keep this in mind that when there are fire curtains later on, you'll want to make sure that Pyropelt doesn't touch the curtain or else he'll start summoning more and more mobs, but I'll get into that afterwards. So what you want to do is do it on the edge, but not too far into the edge and not too far. If you do end up touching the puddle underneath you, run to your healer so he can cleanse you. Or basically, see you Felicia. Also, he won't tell you who it is, just the words will pop up on the screen and the person will have purple aggro ring underneath them. So just keep your eyes on the prize, baby. The second mechanic that we know is when he says, how annoying, I will kill you all. Now, if you play normal mode, and God, I hope you did, you know that he'll stop attacking, do a big AoE that you can't iframe and you'll want to get behind him. It's a little bit different in hard mode. He'll target someone and if that person moves, the boss will move as well, making it a little bit difficult to reach behind him. No sexual pun intended. So what you want to do is wait a little bit and right before he does his AoE, iframe into him so you can get behind him when he does his move. Other than that, it's it's the same thing. The last most important in mechanic is when he says, burn it all. You thought I was going to use a dramatic voice, didn't you? <laughs> Me too, and I just kind of gave up after a few times. I believe he will only say this for the first curtains, and after that he'll do different lines in the next two times. Again, if you played normal mode, you know that he'll narrow the arena, creating fire curtains around him. I mentioned it before, but I'll mention it again. If Pyropel touches the fire curtains and he's at 15% health or lower, he'll spawn monsters upon contact. So you'll want to make it a habit just not for him to touch the curtains whatsoever throughout the fight, so you can do it quicker when it does come to 15% health or lower. The rest is the same as normal mode. That's really just it. Now spider bitch. Basically an ovolith with HIV. I'm assuming you guys know Lilith's Keep. I keep reaffirming myself because a lot of people don't know. Please do normal mode before you do this. So I'm skipping the usual mechanics that haven't changed, okay? So there's two things to really worry about, the wax counter and the puddles. The wax counter is basically the exact same as normal mode except it hits harder. When it reaches 90%, just run the hell out of there and run to your healer, he'll cleanse you afterwards and you can continue DPSing afterwards. I mean, that's literally it. Other than the damage, it does fill faster, about 50% faster fill time, so just keep that in mind. Another thing to look at is that when he spins, he'll spit at everyone. In normal mode, he doesn't really do much, but in hard mode, it will do a damage over time debuff, so you'll need a cleanse. Now, the second thing is the puddles. Everyone knows the puddles. I hope. When the spider decides, hey, I'm gonna target everyone, ideally what you want to do is gather everyone together on the same spot so it just makes one giant circle rather than multiple around the arena. That's the ideal situation. The difference between this mode and normal mode is that if you touch the puddles, yes, you will get slowed. But in hard mode, you'll also lose health over and over, and the only way to cleanse yourself is to get away from it or get the healer to cleanse you quickly because you will die pretty quickly. The rest is pretty much the same. Now Lilith. This dumb mother bitch ass hoe. Now, there are two or three very important mechanics that have changed since normal mode, but as a refresher course, I'm gonna give you some of the same ones. So when she says, hey, how about something big and beautiful, baby, or something around those lines, she summons these big purple balls. Honestly, just get the f out of the way. Don't trust the gap between the AoEs. They are liars and deceivers. They will take your pet away and tell you that it was all a misunderstanding. They are liars. Just run far, far away and pray to RNG Jesus and hope to God God, you get away fast. And then just go back and attack. The second and most important thing, and this is a little bit different than normal mode, is when she does her magic wave, it'll say, Lilith acts suspicious. Which, I mean, to be honest, she's been acting suspicious the whole time because she's been moaning this entire fight. Assuming you've learned how to iframe, I'm looking at you, Ebony, you'll be able to iframe out and escape the wave so you don't get stunned. She'll pull the furthest person away into her. A helpful tip. I know, I never give those out. Is that she will face the person that she will pull, so it'll help the DPS in positioning. As a healer, I recommend this to the priest, that before she pulls someone, use your triple nemesis and energy stars on them. Then after the team goes into the middle to attack, you can use your Kaya shield with a regen glyph, so they'll get healed automatically, and you'll have a much easier time in healing. Anyone who's in the middle attacking this shield will lose a continuous 20,000 health every second. So priest, mystic, 
Use all the health skills you can get. Once you've broken the shield, just get out of that bitch's shield and do not touch the middle. It will remain to stay there and you can die. Fast. Ebony. Her shield phases at 80%, 50%, and 20%, and the damage over time AoE in the middle of the arena won't show up until 80% and stay there for the rest of the fight. Wanted to say that twice so you don't touch it. I'll explain why afterwards. Now alternatively, if you're a priest, you can pull the player that Lilith pulled in, but that'll take some time out of your healing, so if you're confident enough, do it fast, but it will cost you your buff time before your team goes in, however, so... Decisions, decisions. Now, assuming you don't break the shield because someone got stunned or died or whatever, and you just didn't have the DPS for it, you'll get pushed back just like in normal mode. The difference being that she'll also have a curse on you. You need to cleanse that curse fast or you will die, and anyone that didn't get cleansed dies. So again, assuming that you didn't break the shield, group up with a healer so he or she can cleanse the group. Now there's two other things to note. When she says you can rest, you'll know this mechanic from normal mode. It's a huge attack and you can either get away from her or go to the safety donut zone. The priest or the mystic needs to use their plague of exhaustion or regression on Lulith. There will be a small timer underneath her health. If you don't use plague or regression on her, she will wipe the party. This is of utmost importance. And I assume that many people won't get this. So the team can literally, and finally, blame you for wiping the party. This is all on you, friends. It's your time to shine. We priests have been brought down for so long. I know you got this. The last thing is that she can one-shot a player. If you have five stacks of the weakening debuff, she will say, where do you think you're going? And kill you. This isn't too shabby, but I mean, try avoid doing that. Death isn't, you know, the best solution. Now, the way you get this debuff is if you touch the outside of the arena after 60% when she narrows the combat arena. You'll also get a stack per tick if you get hit. So get out. There's also certain AoEs that she will do and also give stacks of debuffs, such as standing in the middle after 80%. That will also give you a stack. When she pulls everyone in and starts doing circles all around her and you get hit by the rings, you'll also get a stack as well. I'd like to thank my guild members Laz and Jaram for confirming some of these details. My mind's a little hazy after today. So just keep a lookout. I guess the last thing to know is that once she does her uppercut, she will do an in-out pizza phase every time, kind of from normal mode, but it's a little bit different in hard mode. Anyways, that's it guys. I hope this helped if it did make sure to like the video and share it with your friends family and paper stacks and as always till next time friends